posted up on this. TD20 International Bulldozer weighing in at nearly 40,000 pounds. I think it'll be stable enough. I'm gonna borrow the wife's yoga mat and just post up on the roof there. And this time, we're going to be testing my theory of tuning the barrel by tensioning or loosening the barrel nut. Kind of like uh, tuning a guitar. Same, same principles, but we're going to be putting it onto paper. This time I'm going to be shooting at 92 yards. Didn't get the perfect 100. Last time I was posted up on the circle and shooting to the right there, but this time we have a howling wind coming from the right to the left which you're gonna see as I start taking shots they are going to be giving these MK2 Diablos a run for their money and these are the heavies as well these are 34 grain I think they are 33.94 something like that so they ought to buck the wind a little bit better, but we are reaching out there. Suppose I could have backed the dozer up a couple feet and gotten a true hundred yards, but fuel prices being what they are, it probably would have cost me a tin of pellets just to start the thing. You can see in the in the trees behind me and hear it in the, in the mic. That wind is definitely howling. Consequently, instead of a five-shot group, I did shoot a six-shot group for this one. I was kind of lost count on that first run. Give it a little tension with the old variable metric. Just a little bit at a time. And shoot the next group. As you can see, I put a little, a couple more dots on that target this time so I could see those uh, lines better. Here I'm holding over two mils. I don't know if it shows up too well on the, the reticle ATN gives you, but on mine, it's right at two mils. Sighted in at 50 yards. With a velocity of about 908 on average. Hopefully this will kind of give you an idea of what you can do. Now, for future, you know, if this does work, I'm gonna have to probably put a lock nut behind my barrel tensioning nut just to hold it in place so it doesn't move at all. Or maybe have some way of referencing it because I'll tell you what, you find that perfect harmonic area, you wanna be able to come back to it each time if you can. Not that it's something you'll be taking apart every day, so maybe it doesn't really matter. But following up on how the M3 shoots, shooting pellets, I wanted to ask some of you guys who have done a slug conversion if you think it's got the same feel and sound and just 
general shootability or if it kind of got more aggressive or changed let me know what you think down in the comments I'd love to hear from you it's a upgrade that I've considered doing but while I'm living in town there's just not really a need for me to be shooting slugs and having them fly further distances <laughs> I don't have the range my M3 is about as backyard friendly as I can get, especially when I turn it down. Now for my Condor shooting a 34 grain Javelin, uh, that's not quite as backyard friendly. It'll certainly uh, reach out there, but uh, not really my preferred backyard gun. I prefer to be a little more discreet if I can be. <laughs> How about that ladder? And here we are at what we've all been waiting for. The results on paper. Groups 1 and 3 are typical, you know, pretty indicative of having s severe side winds coming at you. The horizontal stringing is pretty consistent, you know. If you look at the, the vertical, they stay really tight to that line. Group 4, well, that opened up quite a bit, and that was the one at the most tension. But boy, would you look at that group 2. That surprised me. I mean, I, I went back in the video just to check and see if there was any wind during group two and the wind was just as blustery as all the other groups so i'm not sure if that's 100 percent tensioner maybe i just shot between gusts it's hard to say but that is a definitive answer i think to the question of can you tune your harmonics with a barrel tensioner maybe you don't need the barrel weight after all just my thoughts let me know what you think too down in the comments see you in the next round got some tooling probably about time to get that condor back together.